speak on it. Growing up in the small town of Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, I was surrounded by a lot of friends and family who helped make my childhood comfortable. Each of us had our qualities. And what I had out of all my family and friends was I had a pretty good head on my shoulders and I was able to stand on my own and handle my responsibilities. I remember when there was some type of problem, I was one of the ones that was always able to come up with a pretty viable solution. And sometimes my peoples went with it and sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they rolled their eyes at what I said. Sometimes they giggled and didn't take it seriously. Regardless, my dad always taught me that no matter what I did and said, and no matter who listened or who thought I was crazy, always work to become a success. That way, if your peeps think you're a nut job, at least you have some documentation behind your ass that they can't overlook. So imagine me being the first in my family to go to college, armed with even more book knowledge, which back then I thought was documentation, coming back here to this town with what I thought was a pretty viable solution to problems that my peeps who were out there surviving in the real world were going through. Sometimes my people went along with it and sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they rolled their eyes at what I said and sometimes they giggled and didn't take it seriously. See, I had to realize that while I was sitting in a the classroom, they were the ones getting a real education on life in the real world. While I was dreaming of viable solutions to their issues, they had already tried that crap. They were on page 100 while I was still in the table of contents. But because we were all family, they let me talk. But to this day, I don't know why. But when I left college and jumped into the real world, I had some problems myself and I didn't have the solution to deal with them. They tried to help me, but because I felt that I was more educated, I didn't heed much of anything that they said. I mean, sometimes I went along with it and sometimes I didn't. Sometimes I rolled my eyes at what they said and sometimes I giggled and didn't take it seriously. And it made me wonder why me, a decent guy from the town of Shippensburg, always seemed that no matter how intelligent I was or what I did in my life, compared to all my other friends, they always seemed one level ahead of me, whether it was socially or financially. And it was that way until I turned 45 when I was finally able to realize what we had all been doing wrong all our lives. Just like our previous generations in this town, we were existing in a state of hard living. And even though all our lives were hard, personally, I was working on a heart that was still about four years behind their heart. But in the end, I saw the overall picture. Each of us were comfortable with living hard and none of us had an answer to get any of us off of that path. So, when I turned 45, I had to tell myself, life is hard here in Shippensburg, just like it's hard everywhere else. But at that particular moment, I started to wonder, what kind of hard life did I want? Did I want to work and live check to check type of hard life that drags on forever? Or did I want to work very hard for a few years to make myself extremely wealthy type of life and quickly get myself to a point where life wouldn't be so hard after that. Because in life, living poor is hard. Living check to check is hard. Becoming wealthy is hard. Choose your heart. So guess which route I chose? Exactly. So now, in 2021, whenever my family or friends have some type of problem, I can always come up with a pretty viable solution that has the proper documentation behind it that it'll work. And that documentation is me. They might go along with it and they might not. They may roll their eyes at it and they may even giggle and not take it seriously. The more things change, the more they stay the same, I guess. But guess what? I still love them anyway. So if your life is the wrong type of heart, I suggest you get entrepreneurial. Private message me, join us here in the movement and get yourself moving in the right direction. And if you're feeling what I'm saying or feeling a certain way about how I'm saying it, then in the comments below.